Scorpio, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 4th to the 10th of October. Please keep in mind these are general readings. They won't resonate for everybody, but take what you can and leave the rest. Um, Darlings, please like, share and subscribe for me. I'm so grateful, absolutely grateful for every one of you for being here with me along this journey. Um, it's been quite remarkable to me that people are even interested in the readings that I do. Um, so yeah, so lovely is just hang on in there because we're doing something new. I was doing a dating app reading. Um, however, it drained me. The energies that was coming out of the reading was absolutely exhausting and I've had to lay it to rest um, because... Or just because the last readings I did last week I ended up very upset about a couple of readings and that if that's the kind of energy that I'm getting from that reading I hate to think the kind of energy that the person who's receiving that message is feeling because that is their life that I'm tapping into um, you know and for some people that could be immense immensely upsetting and I really don't want that for people so darlings what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce a new layout a new reading called the law of attraction now i've been doing a lot of work around the law of attraction it's been a bit of a journey for me to learn how to clean cleanse and clear um, um learning about different aspects of what you can um attract towards yourself but also about the responsibility that you have to take in order for you to um, let that attraction come in. So, my darlings, that is going to be bi-weekly. Um, so, I'm going to do the first lot for the first week in October. So, they will go up Friday. And then I will do some for mid-October and then November, obviously. Um, I'm going to take them up to the new year. And if it works out okay, I will keep it. If it doesn't, then we'll think again. I do try to do new things for you, just so that you have got a variety of things to choose from. Oh, and the Salwain. I'm doing the Salwain reading next week, ready for the 31st of October, which is one of the pagan Sabbaths. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that will go up for you, darlings. And that will be a year reading I won't be doing, yes I will be doing it for each sign, sod it, why not, why not stress myself out, okay Scorpio, what started your what the fuck does, There's a bit of a story going on here, something happened where you went into shadow, you decided that there was something coming to an end and you didn't want to face it and you've gone into shadow over it, now, the cards are clearly saying that they don't want you to stay there. But for the time being, I'm getting that you feel that that's a healing place for you. However, what it's done for you is it's put you into imbalance. It's unbalanced you. Your home work life is an imbalance. Your pentacles aren't in balance. To the point where you're holding on to something for grim death. Grim death. Um... Because you're unsure of yourself, you're unsure of your pentacles, you're unsure of your homework life balance, you're unsure of why that person is knocking on the door, lovelies. Scorpio, what on earth? So lovelies, facing your fear and taking your fucking power back, the Page of Cups is asking you to revisit your childhood, to go backwards, to have a look to see what it was that made your soul sing back then that you may have lost in your adult life. And they're asking you to tap back into that because that will give you a flavour of your aspirations that you were working towards and it may give you a refocus which means that you will then be standing beautifully in your power. 
your second aspect, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment, and why it may be fucked, it's not fucked, darling. Your, your manifestation is beautiful. You are asking for the harvest. You've sown many seeds over many seasons, over many years, and you don't think that you're seeing any harvests coming in. My guess is, is that the harvests are coming in, but they're coming in on a small scale at the moment, and you are missing them. Um, darling, you need to get in the, into a bit of responsibility and a bit of gratitude in order for the big harvest to come in. You also need to take steps to take this out of manifestation and get it into um, your real world. So if you are manifesting, if you are saying, I would really like this, change it up, switch it up a bit and say, I have got this, I've got my harvest these are the seeds that were sown. This is what's happening. This is how it feels to have it in my hands, tangible. I can see it, smell it, feel it, all of that stuff. You are the scribe of your own story, darling. So if that's what you want, start scribing, start getting that feeling that it's already happened. And then you will open up beautifully into receiving this. But right now, Scorpio, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Some of you have gone into massive protection mode because of this situation. Some of you are just overprotective about a project or a plan. Two distinct knots of you. But those of you that are overprotective over about everything at the moment, it's not a healthy place to be. You really need to take a look around you and see who is trustworthy and who isn't. And for those of you that are just protecting a project and a plan, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing, but just remember, if other people are working on this project and plan with you, you have to get their agreeance that they want to keep it under wraps as well, because they may be in a different energy to yourself. What you can do about the situation, darlings, is have a realisation that you're not out in the fucking cold and you're not on your own. You have got pentacles, you have got a warm fire behind you. If you choose to sit on an ice cold bench on your own, that's your fucking choice. It's your choice, Scorpio. You don't have to be sitting there. The cards are clearly saying, what can I do about this situation? Is don't put yourself out there. Don't do it to yourself. It would be easy if you are overprotecting because of this situation to feel left out in the cold. And this is clearly saying you put yourself out there. You need to get back into these modes where you're tapping into what it is that you've wanted, what your aspirations were when you were younger, what your seeds have been that you have sown that you want to see to come to fruition. And if you want to see seeds grow, you can't be out in the cold because seeds won't grow in the cold. They won't. What's out of your hands? Scorpio, the thing that's out of your hands is sitting in this energy. This is the king of pentacles. Now, this could be somebody around you, male or female. They've been it, seen it, done it. Now they're offering out advice. They've had the projects. They've had the plans. They've had the money. They've had the success. They've had the home life. They've had da 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 And now they want to offer you the same knowledge and wisdom that they've had and used. Now, if this is an earth sign that's around you, this is going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. However, it could just be an energy around you. It could be you. But it's being held back from you, from the universe at the moment, because you're not seeing your harvest as small as it may be. Because you are overprotecting um, a desire, um, a wish going forward. He is stability. He is grounding he brings in abundance. If you are overprotecting, you are forcing your abundance, your harvest, to go into stasis. And what he's saying is, I'm not coming anywhere near. You are not having this stability. You're not having this abundance until you are ready to take into account that you have got a part to play in this. You have got a part to play in why you felt you had to go and run into the shadows, why your pentacles were out of whack, why your home work life was not as it should be, why you're holding on to something. Once you start to wake up 
and see what it is, where you thought you was going, the sowed, seeds that you sowed to get there, then getting overprotective about it. And I'm getting, to, honestly, Scorpio, quite shitty, I have to say, for some of you. That sting in that tail is definitely up in the air. Um, and taking yourself off into the cold. And this king is saying, you're not ready to stand in this power yet. However, reconnecting to the true self, your true you, you've got your water, you've got your ace of cups. This is about filling this cup up for yourself. This is about letting it overspill. This is about replenishing those rivers. This is about replenishing yourself. This is about recognising a cup coming in towards you that is overspilling, that complements what you want, what you need. And your seeds will fucking grow because water helps things grow. It does, Scorpio. Whether you like it or not, they are going to grow. This is about you realising that your new beginning is just ahead of you. With the six of a thames, calmer water, looking out ahead clearly at your future. You just need to dock in order to move straight towards it darlings um yeah that cup you really need to fill it for yourself you need to recognize a cup coming in that complements you need to understand what is the content of your cup what is it that you're trying to attract from someone else because it's easy to have a cup that isn't overspilling that isn't filled up properly you haven't put much thought into it and a cup comes in and it contradicts everything that you want because you've not been clear about what you want. So darlings, the outcome, look at this Scorpio. You've walked this path for a long time, picking up knowledge and wisdom as the crone, male or female. And this lion has walked beside you, offering you the strength to carry on. And this continues for you. You are on a very... I'm going to say spiritual, emotional and physical journey that needs your full fucking attention. It does. You, you dropped, you dropped, what did they say? You dropped the ball. You took your eye off the goal. And that's why they're asking you to re-tap in. You've lost yourself somewhere along the way. And it's thrown you into imbalance. And Scorpio, look. You've got the king of earth there at the bottom of the deck. You've got the king of wands. He stands massively in his power. He knows what it's like to wish for a desire and get it. He knows. Male or female, this could be a fire sign around you. It could be fire energy around you. But this king is saying, I will wave this magic wand for you and get you your desires. But you have to put the work in. You have to realise what your desires are, what the deep down desire is. And then you need to act upon that accordingly. And then that king energy will come in and allow you to make those wishes and get those desires into your life. <coughs> Sorry, darlings. Oh, excuse me. Frog in the throat. Elder. Look beyond ancestral patterns. Just because the previous generation did it doesn't mean it's going to work from you. Eagle, look from a higher perspective, Scorpio. Water Guardian, there's a surprise. Connect with your emotions. Scorpio, honestly, wise one. Grow within your current situation. Mirror Guardian, reflect. take time to reflect broken arrow enhance the energy of peace and lastly she wolf unleash the wild within scorpio darlings listen you've got it's going to be a hard week but it's going to be quite fruitful if you get it right it really is it's going to make you realize 
that you are the master of your own life you are you are your own storyteller so darlings please wherever you are in the world be safe and i will catch up with you in next week's reading bye for now